20 seconds and counting. Hey, what's up, guys? Clutch City Entertainment here, back with another video, and the Texans have officially signed former Colts running back Marlon Mack. This is a very interesting signing, as Marlon Mack was a very, very good running back in 2019. Good season in 2018 for the Indianapolis Colts, of course. He played a couple games because of the Texans, but kind of struggled to get back on the field after an injury that we'll talk about and some other complications. But let's take a look at um, his previous stats. In 2018, when he was only 23, he had 195 rushes for 908 yards and three touchdowns in 2019 which was his best season of his career. He was only 24 years old. He had 247 rushes for 1,091 yards for eight touchdowns. An absolutely fantastic year for him. But unfortunately, at the beginning of the 2022 season, uh, he tore his Achilles in that season opener game against the Jaguars. Um, but he has recovered now. But... And, of course, Jonathan Taylor did, you know, burst onto the scene. He was with the Colts in 2020. And then, of course, he had a great season in 2021. Marlon Mack had demanded a trade um, during the 2021 season. There was a little interest there, I believe, with the Chiefs at the time. But, you know, nothing came to fruition around the trade deadline. So he became a free agent. And we're not expecting his deal to be you know, anything big. Nick Casario has done a great job of, you know, getting guys on one- to two-year deals, very cheap, not too much guaranteed money, a little bit incentive-based there. And it, it, if it is a bigger contract for Ron Mack, it will most likely be incentive-based because he and the Texans know he does have potential to be a 1,000-yard rusher. He's got a lot of great traits that we'll get into here. Uh, just looking at the film, Marlon Mack, there was a reason why in 2019 he was, you know, a really good running back. Some could have arguably said that he was a top 10 running back. And I just like really like what he has. But um, so his best traits are he has a really good combination of vision and balance. He is not easy to bring down. He's not necessarily the most stocky, big guy. Not too physical, but he is hard to bring down. And that contact balance is something that running backs really do need. He does have really good ability to burst after making a cut, which is important, especially if you're, you know, Trying to break loose or be, you know, getting into the hole. Texans most likely run a gap scheme, so that's a good trait for him to have. Just you know, keep accelerating. He has the potential to be a good passer with these traits. He doesn't necessarily have the best receiving stats, but the Texans did have a lot of screen passes and stuff like that. And Pep Hamilton does like to use short passes as kind of like an extension of the run game. So Marlon Mack could be used in there. Also, thought he was really, really elusive. He doesn't have the best long speed. Yeah, but like I said, really hard to bring down, really hard to tackle. He's got that elusiveness, vision, balance, burst, good cuts. But the big concern there for me is going to have to be the injuries. But he is healthy. He had some time to just, you know, kind of ride the bench out with the Colts, cool with having Jonathan Taylor. So it's not too big of a concern. And obviously the contract should not be too big. We'll find out more details on that soon, assuming it's a one- to two-year deal. But – this is really good for the Texans because their running back room consisted of two main guys of Rex Burkhead, Royce Freeman. They also had Jet Anderson, Darius Anderson, and um, Scotty Phillips, who hasn't really had much of an opportunity with his time with the Texans. So the Texans needed a starter. Rex Burkhead obviously had some good moments, but he's getting there in age. But this still does this still leaves the door open for the Texans to make a move in the draft. I do anticipate the Texans drafting a running back anywhere from the third to seventh round. Uh, lots of great options. I think it's a relatively deep running back draft. So look out for guys like Isaiah Spiller, Brees Hall, some other guys. Personally, a guy that I really like is Donovan Knight from NC State. A lot of people like um, Abram from Baylor. Uh, he's a more of a power back type. So with Marlon Mack, I think they do need that kind of more power back type. You know, Marlon Mack being the elusive, good vision, speed, elusiveness kind of type player. The door is wide open for the Texans to make a move. And Marlon Mack is still going to prove himself to even make the team. 
but the talent is there, and it's a really good move for the Texans. So let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And that's all for today. Peace.